Hey guys, it's Sairi here. Welcome back to another video. Today, this is gonna be a tips and tricks video for you guys that don't know how to do O3 or you're struggling to get a complete since, as you may know, in two days, there's gonna be a O3 event where like runes pop for free and stuff like that. So hell if you're gonna be doing O3s obviously. So I decided I was gonna make like a video just to help you guys out there that really needed it. So here we go. To start off the video, we got Gems Mock. Obviously, you can really tell that it's Gems Mock just because everything's golden. When you get into the boss room, pretty much you just hang at the bottom left side, DPS him when he teleports around at the left side, bottom side. If you're good at pushing up for more damage, you can rotate as well. But be careful the shotguns, they converge. And the most painful one that you want to avoid is Petrifies, it's like a shuriken. So you just got to be careful about those. Another thing is that when he goes mid and you do too much damage to there, he's going to taunt at you and give you a weak encounter that will last about like 30 seconds. So try to avoid this if you're trying to get a cleaner run. After he teleports around and you do enough damage mid, he's going to spawn a bunch of coins and shit. If you go on the bottom left side on the wall, it is a safe spot so you can safely dodge a bunch of these shotguns. But when he starts teleporting, you better get off of it or else you're gonna get hurt by a lot of shotguns after you do enough damage he's gonna spawn three coins and one of them is right you can just tell because it literally flashes at the beginning so you just keep a good eye tracking on those fucking coins and shoot the right one or else you're gonna get a counter and it's gonna be very annoying to clear so after you kill the right coin, he staggers and you DPS mid after this phase. He's going to be teleporting across the map shooting a barrage of shots. And after he teleports a few times, he's going to stop teleporting and he's going to stay at one spot. So be sure to push up or else you're going to be waiting during like a fucking sitting duck for like about five years. When he stands mid and you do enough damage, he's going to be throwing grenades that you have to dodge from left to right. The safest spots is top left or bottom right. So be sure to remember that when you get to this phase and you easily kill gems bot. Now we're going to talk about Lucorix. There's literally an L in the room just to tell you that it's him. The one thing that I've seen from new players in Lucorix is that try not to move too much. For instance, in the first phases, you're going to be hanging out the top left side the whole time. You pretty much just got to micro dodge through all the green shots which sicken. And there's a bunch of like converging shots and stuff like that mazes so try to wiggle through without getting hit by any of the green shots it's true that the middle and the back sides of the map at the beginning of the phase is a good safe spot and good easy dodging but at the same time the top left side is easy to damage the boss and if you micro dodge well with buffs you don't have to worry too much if you didn't know when you get into this tentacle phase where you rotate the corners of the map is literally a safe spot so you don't really have to rotate in the inside if you're scared i get it just stay in that corner but if you're not you can just stay in and push for that damage after that rotation phase he goes towards the bottom side of the room and like i said about orienting yourself the top left side you're gonna have to do that but instead on the bottom right side and be sure to focus those orbs or else you're gonna have to go into counters there's practices for these counters so if you're not good with timing i'll put it in the description for you so you know what to do but it's literally just the same phases that do more damage if you guys tank a sick in just try not to eat any other shot like i do right here in this b phase thing after that he just goes mid follow rotation or just hide in the corners if you're not good at rotating and you should be ending the corex now let's talk about dama you know you'll be prompted with a room that's like dark and red and you can just tell pretty much by just like the icon that like appears for each boss so anyways let's get on with this one you get into dama you're able to shoot the boss but technically you're not supposed to do it because this is actually a counter where if you shoot him twice right here you'll be prompted a sick and knife wall and uh, if you're not good with the knife wall well you're gonna have to practice up and the best tips i can really give you is that if you head towards one side of the maze you're gonna end up on the other side to go to so what you want to do is just stand in the middle for the most part and if you're not fast enough to move towards the direction then just tank one knife instead of eating a line of them you get into the phase where he just stands middle and shoots a bunch of shots and you rotate when there's like a box that surrounds you as you see right here he's gonna be spawning a portal that like chases the nearest player so you usually get a decoy mid or literally just run away from it and if you get cornered by that portal well you're gonna get fucked up so be sure to get those decoys up at the end of each phase there's be a knife wall every single time so be sure to stay at the edges of the map don't stand in the middle or else you're gonna be eating double layers of knives and actually die so just watch out for that pretty much if your dps is good enough he'll literally flash red and you're able to shoot him multiple times and he'll prompt a sick and knife wall just like in the beginning so be sure to be on the lookout if your dps is actually really good so you can prepare for that knife wall 
when he turns blue after a while when you do dps on him that means he's damage cap so he'll literally do one of the phases of miasma or a sun's phase i can't stress this enough but if you're doing miasma as you see here there's like a line of portals that like shoot sicken shots armor breaks and silences always stay on the bottom left to briefly explain this phase there's four quadrants in the map as you see here and if you want to be on the safest spot on the map stay on the bottom left this picture is kind of scuffed because um i pictured it at a wrong spot in time but everybody would group up on the bottom left the way that people pvp essentially in this phase called pvp miasma people will group up one quadrant ahead of the other main group so the people in the front will lead the shots for the people behind them and this tends to kill more people because more of the shots will lead towards them that's behind essentially this is a lose-lose situation if you're on each quadrant so good luck if you want to survive pvp miasma you really gotta just focus and just micro dodge through so many shots as you see here it's actually very difficult at a first time but once you get used to it you'll nexus less and you'll survive more domo runs the only tips i can give you for this phase is stay ahead of the shots try your best to not get dragged behind or else the shots will lead in more towards you and you'll essentially die so always stay pushed up if you're not good at dodging always tank the armor breaks and the silent shurikens i know that sounds like a bad idea but it's better than tanking the sickens and eating everything else so be sure to just tank the specific shots like i said after this miasma you'll be going to sun's phase which is just a ray of portals that like shoot a bunch of armor break shots and armor break arrows mostly just stay on like one side of the mag either the left side or the bottom side i like staying on the bottom side and once you get through this phase after DPSing in mid, you either have another Miasma, which is like a half turn if you don't do enough damage, or you go into Disintegrate, which is pretty much a phase where a bunch of portals shoot a bunch of shit, and you just lead your shots in on the Dama, and good luck trying to micro dodge every second of your life. Just be sure to lead in your shots mid, and you essentially just kill Dama. So the last boss, the most hated boss of all time, which is Besa, literally a B for Besa. But anyways, the one main reason why everybody hates Besa is because it's the slowest and the most annoying boss known to all the four mini bosses. One tip before we get into the boss is that the clearing is the most annoying because you're able to drag minions onto people because there's like an intersection where it leads down or up and everybody goes up first but if you're a scumbag people usually drag minions from behind and kill people so be sure not to do that. Once you get into Besa you just group up bottom right and follow the rotation follow him all the way up. You usually try to drag it with the group on the top wall, but if your group is bad sometimes, they literally drag it the wrong way. So as you see here, he's literally on a decoy or something, so he's doing circles. But this boss is majority just playing around with your group, grouping together, dragging it together in a certain path. And most of the time, he'll stagger if you do enough damage, so be sure to jump him when he's down. And after every stagger, he'll be silenced for about like 15 seconds, so you can't use any abilities. Just micro dodge a lot of the things and the shots in Besa. So this is literally like a dodging game and a focus game. If you're not good at both of those, then you're going to be scared for your life. But be sure to always be focused for phases just as this when he goes mid. In addition, he shoots a bunch of green shots, the circular ones do sickens and the ones that look like shurikens always slow. So be sure to not get slowed or sickened because he does shoot a lot of armor break and armor shots in general, quiets, etc. So always just be noticing which shots you take. Don't get sat on because Besa is one of the most randomest boss out of the four mini bosses and can jump on you at any moment in time. You can't really tell from my footage sometimes because I really don't like Besa, but he spawns these birds on this phase called Keep Him Covered, and these birds can literally follow you. They'll turn red and explode, and don't sit on them because they'll literally one-shot you, so just be aware of these birds. Usually at the end of his phase, he does like this corner phase thingy where he goes to each end of the map, and uh, you just kill him from there to be honest, just lead your shots in at all times, and you're done with Besa pretty much from here. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. If you do enjoy this video, be sure to check out my other video that kind of explains O3 to like a little extent. I can probably make a more detailed guide for you if you really want, but thanks so much for watching. Be sure to watch my other videos. I will be coming back with more bangers sooner or later, but peace out boys. Have a nice day.